Okay, now we have the leg portions of the turkey. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and cut right along the thigh bone. It's just a big bird, so if you can do chicken, you can do turkey. We're going to cut right along the thigh bone, and we're going to take our knife and put a slit right there, the length of the thigh bone, and just kind of work right around it. Take your time. It only take a few minutes. Remember, you're going to save so much time on this turkey that, you know, the few minutes that it takes to fillet it, you'll get that back when you start cooking it. Okay, now I'm going to take the knife and come a little bit up the leg. And so we can start seeing the joint of the thigh. Now, take the knife and roll it right along the thigh bone. And you can see real simple just stand it up and just take your time and carve right around it okay now okay all right and we can discard this for the stock now here we got the thigh cut out and when you get ready to roast it we're gonna form it like this and so what you're going to have is all dark meat. When somebody wants dark meat, just slice little medallions with no bones in it. And then the person that wants the drumstick, bang, he has the drumstick. Let's do it again on the other side. Show you how simple it is. Just take the knife and come right along the thigh bone and open it up. Come along the other side and turn your knife in the angle. Kind of scrape the bone clear of the meat. And then now you can just take the point of the knife and cut right along the side. Now take your fingers and pinch under the bone. Stick your knife right there and just cut the bone out. Now what we're going to do is open the thigh all the way up. And then we're going to lift the bone up, the thigh bone, and just cut around it until it frees the bone. See how simple that is? All right, once you try this, you probably never go back to cooking turkey the other way. Now we got a filleted turkey. 90% of the meat is off of the bone. We got the bone to make a stock a couple of days ahead of time for sauces or gravies or stuffings or whatever you want to use it for. And now we got the turkey we can marinate and we can smoke it, grill it, bake it, fry it, whatever you want to do. All right. Now that we got the turkey filet, we'll be right back and I'll show you how to marinate.